Hello children, welcome back to my talks and uh, here I am uh, with another poetry from first flight, okay, 10th uh, English. So this poem is The Ball Poem by John Berryman, okay. So this poetry today we are going to do and uh, let me talk about again the central idea. I hope you all must have subscribed the channel children. Today I am telling in the beginning itself. Please do subscribe the channel. Okay. Like it. Give a thumbs up and you are watching it. And when you are able to understand it is beneficial to you. Okay. So do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So let's talk about the central idea of the ball poem. So here in this particular poetry. The poet John Berryman. He describes the poem as the grief and pain of a boy. Okay, who has lost his ball. The boy has, it's a small boy, he has lost his ball and the pain which he feels losing his ball. He suffers a sense of responsibility in the disposition of the ball. Okay, he feels that it was his responsibility to keep the ball safely. Okay, so that was his possession and now he has lost it. Okay, in this materialistic world, he has lost what he possessed. So the poem shows that one has to go with the times when one gets or loses many things. So again the poet wishes to say that as time passes, okay, we lose quite many things in our life. And uh, we, again, if we uh, feel, go back and think about it, we feel sad. So it is a fact that one feels pain, grief and suffering with the loss of things or possessions, whatever we possess and we don't have. Okay, so but one has to have patience in life and that is really which can do great. So, so one has to accept the things, okay, and run the life as it goes. You have to accept the life as you get it. So the boy who has lost the ball will have to learn, okay, uh, the, the loss, will have to learn from the loss and he has to bear the grief and he can't do anything about it. So the poetic devices used over here is alliteration again, repetition of the initial consonant, okay, in the same line, that is what, what, okay, WW, balls, balls, and buys a ball pack, okay, so B, a ball B, and then back B. Repetition is what, what, balls, balls, and symbolism is, okay, a figure of speech again, so the ball symbolizes the boy's childhood innocence and his positions okay and uh, that is what let's come to the uh, lines so the first pattern what is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water so the boy has already lost his ball and he learns for the first time in his life what it is like to experience the loss of his possession. Okay, for the first time he understands what it feels to lose something. The ball symbolizes his childhood memories. Okay, the ball is the valuable possession of the boy and he sees it bouncing down the street and landing in the water. So the ball has been with him for over a long time. The ball symbolizes childhood children. We did it earlier. It forms an integral part, a very important part of his childhood memories and it also implies that the boy's innocence is being replaced slowly by the experience of life when he shall be losing and gaining many things. So the boy has to learn that um, in due life, in coming times, okay, he will be losing many things and he will be gaining also. So he has to learn to accept that. Okay, and it may also mean the starting up of his uh, maturity okay that he has started becoming mature let's come to the second paragraph no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his balls went okay now this there is absolutely no use to say that there are other balls okay how can you console somebody saying that you have lost your ball? Now you be satisfied with the other ball. Okay. The childhood. The boy will get other balls. But this particular ball stands lost forever. 
He is emotionally shaken at the loss of this ball, which signifies his childhood memories. He cannot get back his childhood once again. He undergoes the process of losing things in life and stands fixed due to it. Transfixed, surprised, sad. He stands trembling and staring down all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. The boy feels that his childhood innocence will never come. And this is the grief that nearly shocks him over the loss. Okay, he is really very very sad. Uh, third paragraph, I would not intrude on him or dim another ball is worthless. Now he senses first responsibility in a world of possession. The poet says that he would not give the boy any money for a new ball as this new ball would not substitute what the boy has lost. A realization of responsibility dawns for the boy. It comes to the boy when he loses the ball. He cannot find the ball which symbolizes his sense of possession. He realizes that his sense of belonging and possessing things in life is a hard reality and he must learn it. So from this loss, the boy is learning what it is to lose one's possession in a world of possessions. Okay? And he would buy things but the lost things would never come back. Okay? So this was your third paragraph. Uh, let's go to fourth. People will take balls. Balls will be lost always. Little boy and no one buys a ball back. Money is external. So the poet over here generalizes the things that people will take the balls. Balls will be lost but these would never come back. The boy would never be able to get his lost ball and for that purpose no one will be able to. No one in the world can get their childhood memories back. The ball is a personification of his innocence. It gets into the process of vanishing and being replaced by the real experiences of life in the form of gains and losses. Money is external as it can buy the things. Okay, lost forever. Money cannot buy back the sweet memories of childhood that stood attached with the ball. So this is the fourth paragraph. You can understand children that money can buy everything but again the memory is the innocence that cannot be bought. So going to the last one. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss. How to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. So the poet says over here that slowly he is learning to accept uh, his losses. Okay, as people learn to lose uh, after, as the day passes. Okay, so the boy is bearing to bear the loss of his ball, his sweet memories of childhood in a world of possessions. It implies that every man has to stand up after the losses and so will the boy also. The boy also learns what it is to lose one's possessions and to stand up again to bear another loss. The cycle of life must go on and the boy shall soon learn what it is to suffer the losses of his possessions like other people, other men. And this phenomenon of losses and gains shall continue till life remains. This is eternal through children. Okay, uh, We pass from one phase to the other. We keep losing from infancy, childhood, again uh, your adolescence and then adulthood and after that the death. So uh, each uh, you can say phase of life passes and we should be able to accept it, accept the losses and move along with it. That is what is life. So hope you must have understood and enjoyed. Okay, do like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you all. Thank you for watching.